Good evening, I'm Joe Donlin. And I'm Erica Sargent. A large verdict tonight against the village of Dalton. $33.5 million will be paid out to the family of a man killed during an attempted police stop in Dalton and another man who was severely injured in that case. CBS2 investigator Megan Hickey joins us live with the details on this chase. And Megan, the families tell you that justice has been almost six years in the making. Right, Joe and Erica, this incident happened back in October of 2016. A jury here at the Daily Center awarded the family of the man that died $10 million and the man who suffered a traumatic brain injury, $23 million. Blasting through stop sign after stop sign after stop sign, uh, chasing uh, a driver who is showing no sign of stopping. Police are supposed to ask themselves, is it worth it uh, if somebody innocent is going to get hurt? John Christopher Kyle's pictured here is the man who lost his life. The second photo is Dwayne Dunlap, the man who was severely injured. Both were passengers in a car driven by a man named Demetrius Sorrels. According to the lawsuit, Sorrels skidded through a stop sign near Greenwood Road and Sibley Boulevard in Dalton. That's when the lawsuit says Dalton police executed a high-speed chase, exceeding 80 miles per hour and passing through multiple stop signs. A lawyer for one of the officers argues with the fact that it was a pursuit, saying that the officer were, quote, attempting to make a traffic stop. The chase lasted about a mile until the car crashed behind the New Zion Covenant Church. Kyles was killed, and attorneys say Dwayne Dunlap suffered severe permanent injuries. The driver, Demetrius Sorrels, was charged with reckless homicide and named alongside the village of Dalton in the lawsuit. Court filings also stated that Dalton has one of the highest, if not the highest, rates of police chases in Illinois. In the five years prior to the chase, Dalton had been involved in approximately 50 police chases. About half resulted in crashes involving personal injury or death or property damage. Dwayne Dunlap's mother told us the settlement doesn't make them whole, but it does help them cover his vast medical expenses. It's not going to make them well, but it'll make us have, have them have a comfortable life. This is about uh, your responsibility. And what happened yesterday is that a jury of Cook County citizens uh, didn't bring back John Kyles, didn't make Dwayne Dunlop whole again, uh, but signaled uh, loud and clear with the magnitude of this verdict uh, that what happened uh, was wrong. Now, a spokesperson for the village of Dalton tells us the, this incident was unfortunate and happened under a previous administration. They are considering the potential of a follow-up appeal. Now, a lawyer for one of those officers did tell us that the verdict rendered by the jury had nothing to do with the actions of Dalton police officers, in her words. In the loop, Megan Hickey, CBS2 Investigators. Joe and Erica. Megan, thank you.